Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead and today we're clearing fence line. We're going to wind up cutting through a bunch of timber or just say brush not timber and uh, got my farm hand. It's the only way we're going to get it done. We're going to chop fence lines clear out the brush we got some old bob wire we got to get out some old cattle fencing and then we're going to wind up mapping out the area dropping our fence post and start pulling fence this week now this can be a couple day project not obviously not gonna be able to get it done all in one day but we're going to try to get as much done as we can this week so this is going to be a multi-part video but today we're doing all the hard stuff we're clearing out the timber we're pulling all fence line out and we got to haul that stuff out of there too. And it's going to be a real chore. So I'm going to need as much help as I can. So hope you guys stick around to watch the chaos that's about to go down, trying to get all this stuff cleared out of here. And it's going to be exhausting. I'll tell you what, this is my first time running fence. Everything I know right now, it's going to be off what I've watched on YouTube. Hopefully it's not that difficult. I got a game plan and hopefully it goes as planned. But we all know, it never does all right so you see all this brush and stuff behind me this is what i gotta go through if you look down here i kind of got a straight line but it you can't see it but it curves back in and i gotta clear this out so i can run a straight fence line in here i want to try to do this without as many as with few turns as possible because you know i'm gonna try to save uh, some money on this post because i don't want to be driving su uh, support post every freaking uh turn i go so i'm going to try to make it straight as possible then we're going to cut straight up through the chicken coop now behind the chicken coop there's a whole lot of timber back there and it's really thick there's a lot of old bob wire and fence line up there i'm going to try to follow the the original property line but i got to clear enough stuff out of there so i can roll that big old 300 foot fence roll down so there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out and that's the hard part it's easy to cut stuff down but it's hard to haul it out for all who don't know, if you're new to this channel, it's sunny slope for a reason. We live on a hill. Our hole and property is in a big ravine like this. Our house is on one side, property is on the other. And we're going to put the goats all on the top side of this hill around our property line. Now the back side behind that chicken coop, like I said, is full of old brush, old timber. And there's some old fences with a lot of trees growing through them. So. That's the challenge that we face today, guys. It's going to be tasking, to say the least. For anybody who thinks running a chainsaw and cutting through some small stuff is easy, is a fool. Because the worst thing to deal with is all the tiny stuff. It catches on everything. You have to cut it straight to flush the ground. Otherwise, you're going to wind up popping tires when you drive across it. And the other thing I'm facing right now is I have to plan my fence line so I can pull it. Now I'm running uphill and I have a property line that I'm going to run to, but I can't get on the other side of that property line to pull this fence. So the way I got to plan this is I got to take that roll of fence and I got to work downhill. Smarter, not harder, right? So we're going to work downhill and pull our fences coming down from the backside. Now the challenging part is going to be getting the fence line pulled on the very top of that hill diagonally because one it, there's a lot of trees up there and i got to try to stay off my neighbor's property because him and i we don't get along too well there's a little backstory about that with a septic tank and i dealt with it for about a year and a half and i actually had to call the city or sir the city i had to call the county uh district supervisor to come out and settle the dispute because uh he was doing something wrong and illegal and it just kind of made bad blood between us and um we just we haven't got along so i'm trying to stay out of his bowl of chili as much as I can.
cedar trees are the worst. So, <laughs> this is the fence line we gotta cut and clear out. You can tell, uh, got a, little, a lot of old bob wire in here. So, some old T-posts. We got a lot of stuff to clear out. This is gonna be the most challenging part right here, is clearing this section out, because it's been neglected for about 25 years. <sighs> now back in the day, this used to be farmland and they ran cattle back here. So I got a hot wire in there and I think three strands of bob wire that we got to cut out, pull out manually in sections, roll up and throw in the trash. Wish I had a use for old bob wire. I'm sure you guys have use for it. <laughs> I got bigger fish to fry right now. the hard part you got untend fence line and you get cedars that grow up in between it so I'm probably gonna wind up working on the outside of this fence line I'm gonna clear it out as much as I can but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because as you can see I got a big I got a big gnarly tree going up through there but ugh, I'm ooh, tripping Here's the corner of my property. You can kind of see that old, you can see that old fence post up there. She's no good. I'm gonna bring my property line down, even though it's a couple feet I'm losing, but life is gonna be a lot easier if I can dig new posts and run a new line over trying to make the old property line work. So I'm working inside my property line. So I'm being the nice guy and giving them a few feet. Oh man, so we got all the fence lines cleared out. Well, we're gonna drop that fence. The plan changed about a few, do a few dozen times, but we have the final plan set. All the areas are cleared out. We are good to go. Tomorrow, we're gonna start dropping fence posts. And check out my new toy. I picked this one up at Harbor Freight, guys. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Harbor Freight, I don't think they make bad stuff. I just think they make stuff that you can just use, you know, lightly every once in a while. I think you get what you pay for. But this thing came with a warranty that I couldn't pass. The warranty was if you pay, I think I got this on sale for like 170 something. And if you pay $30 extra, you can uh, return it within 15 months. No questions asked. Get you a brand new one in the box. And they, they told me that too. They said 15 months, come back and get a brand new one in the box. So I'm gonna use the heck out of this. If it gives me any problems, at least I'll have that warranty. I can go back and get more um, and keep on exchanging them out. I don't think I'm gonna have those kind of problems. But all said and done, when I do this job, I'll return it, get a brand new one in the box and put it away for a rainy day. I think it's a good deal. And the best part of it is it comes with an auger bit. Sometimes when you buy these things, that auger bit is extra. So, win. Let's go walk this fence line and show you what the work we got done. Now, I didn't videotape it all because I'm pulling bob wire, 
running chainsaws and I got started late in the day because we had some bad weather so I really just wanted to get it done and over we wind up clearing this out so I'm gonna be running I got I got a little bit more I'm gonna clear out but I'm gonna run fence line from here straight up the hill to some existing post we're gonna run it down the trail I kind of push some of these uh, these branches out of the way we're gonna let the goats clear all this stuff out because this stuff gets so thick and nasty I got to get in there and get a lot of the dead stuff out but I'm extremely allergic to poison ivy and this stuff gets full of it so I'll let those goats just clear that out eat it all up then I'll be able to get in there and clear all that stuff out without getting the itchies we're at the point now we're gonna run straight up to the chicken coop right up through there that's the interesting part let's go check that out clearing all the stuff behind the chicken coop that was the chore it was so thick overgrown and just a ton of bob wire back there so here's one of the piles that we cleared out there's all the bob wire we got out of there i found the original fence post right there kind of went off this post here i don't know what that's there for but i found the original post so we're gonna stay on our side of the property on that post and run new line. We're gonna follow the original fence line up there where those T-posts are. I didn't wanna remove the T-post because I didn't wanna, I didn't want any issues with the neighbor. So granted, I did clear out his side of the fence. That's only because it has to be cleared out so I can maintenance my fence. But we got it all cleared out. Up there on the top, you see that little cedar right there? On the hill, there's a cranky, cranky old support post up there. And I'm not gonna run fence to that. There's no way, no how. And I ain't gonna mess with it. I'll put a post in front of that hill, do the supporting there, and then I'll drill post and drive my T-post right through here and follow it right down my coop and kick it over to that where Kick it off down by the little road I have down there. Here's the original post for the original property line or fence line. And they got a little survey stake up there when they surveyed the property, when either when I purchased it or when the neighbor next door purchased. But there's the old fence line right there. Now, I'm kind of concerned and I'm not trying to be cheap but I'm not going to use these as supporting posts, but they're solid. They're not rotten. So I pulled the bob wire off of them, cleared the fence out, or the bob wire out. And we're going to use these as um, support post for my corner post. And then we'll just run the fence over here and drop a new corner support post there and then run it down. Now I got a couple more. I got a little bit more cedar to clear out, but it's a straight shot right down there. With this being a hillside, I, I want to keep as much timber and stuff to hold onto this soil as much as possible. So I didn't want to take that tree down because these goats are going to eat this all down and I don't need a bunch of runoff going into my yard, dirt and nasty mudslides. Originally, Originally, this all right here was going to be the goat area, all the way down to the pond. Now, I know goats don't like water, but I was going to run the fence line through the timber here and kind of do the flip-flop opposite, but mama didn't like that. Why? Because this all used to be all overgrown brush, and then we found this nice, nice little uh, uh, maple tree in here. Actually, it's an oak tree. It's a big leaf oak, oak. Guys, I'm not an arborist, but it's this tree right here. <laughs> I think it's an oak tree, but it puts off a amazing, colorful uh, fall color that we really wanted to enjoy. Miss Sin and Slope wants to put a bench down here so she can look at, out at the property so the goats can't go there. So all in all, I'm going to have a whole hillside of my property that I can't really use for much anyways. So that's going to be the new goat place. Goats will like it, 
The chickens will be enclosed inside the goat pen with their own little run. And then I'll put a, put in a door that the goats can't get in and out of so chickens can run the goat pen. Well, we don't want the goats eating chicken feed. So I got a little bit of an optical illusion that I'm struggling with right now. And the reason for it is because I've never ran fence before. I picked up all my supply and I bought sheep and goat fence. Uh, it's Red Barn. Those are supposed to be 330 foot rolls. I don't see 330 feet in that roll. I just don't believe it. It's marked 330 feet. They sell the 100 yard rolls, which are significantly smaller, but I just, I just can't believe that's 330 feet. So I need every last bit of it. I think uh, all said and done, if I did the math right, I'm gonna be running probably about 500 feet and some change the fence line now i got 660 feet here so i should have plenty left over now i have to go with a change of plans i have to go buy some more post but that's that's given things change go get some more posts not a big deal they're pretty inexpensive uh i didn't go with the creosote post and people are probably going to ridicule me for that because oh there it's going to rot out this and that but there's a reason why I didn't do it. Down the corner there, I have some creosote post from an old fence line long ago. And these guys, these guys like to nibble on everything. And I don't want them eating creosote. So we're going to go with the treated post that's not creosote. Will it rot out on me? Yes. It probably is going to last me, who knows, maybe 20 years. Maybe. Maybe less. There's not going to be a lot of stress on this fence. So... I'm not really too concerned with it. Now, ideally, I would have loved to go with steel posts. Financially, I can't pull that off right now. So, I would have loved to do that. I got a welder. It would have been so much easier to weld steel posts in. I could have cemented them in. They would have lasted a lifetime, guaranteed. Just not in the budget right now, guys. So, right now, that little area we're going to do, I'm not putting cattle back there. I'm putting goats. I'll run my fence correctly. To the best of my knowledge and it should last quite a few years well my improvement worked pretty good they are bending up the the fencing a little bit but all that hay was from the last bell i should clean it out to really see how well it's holding up but we'll get to that right now i'm just trying to concentrate and getting these guys a new home that's all i have for today guys i appreciate you guys watching if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button i know it's like beating a dead horse and sometimes that's all it takes for somebody to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, does us a lot of good around here. It don't cost you nothing. Stay tuned. Next video, we're going to be setting post, guys. See you next time.